how do their chums does I, captain of the steers. And today, chums, I want to be talking a little bit about Pal World. Now, Pal World is like a Pokemon sort of rip y sort of game with a massive twist. And that massive twist is massive guns. Yes, there's machine guns, rocket launchers, and all sorts going on inside of this game, people. So you weaken the old Pokemon, Pal, and then you capture it. And you can actually make bases using your powers. You can put them to work for you, which is pretty darn freaking nice. This game is supposed to be dropping in January. When I say supposed to be dropping in January, I'm going to be playing a video in a moment that has me a little bit concerned. And I want to get your thoughts and feelings whether there should be concern out there, people, for the release of this title. I mean, it looks freaking awesome, doesn't it? That really does look pretty darn cool. Anyways, so what's that video that's got me slightly concerned? Well, let's uh, let's stop this one from playing, but it, there we go. Power World. It should be coming out January, and it should be coming to pretty much every platform. Xbox and Windows definitely confirmed. There's talks that it might not come to PlayStation, but we shall see. We shall see, people. Anyway, this is the actual video that's got me concerned. I'm going to go over into my old TV mode because I, I don't know whether it's going to actually um, you know, get me flagged to this video. Let's make it a little bit larger. And uh, the sound is on. I'm just going to shut up. I'm going to let him talk all the way through. And then I'm going to give my response at the end. I'm going to drink my tea while we watch him. Here we go, people. At the start of December, Pocket Power announced that a brand new Power World trailer was going to be dropping on the 18th of December. However, this didn't quite go to plan and Pocket Power put out an announcement stating that the trailer was going to be postponed. Pocket Power posted the release of the new trailer, which was scheduled to be released at 9am ET today, has been postponed. We sincerely apologise to everyone who has been looking forward to it and we apologise for keeping you waiting even longer. Now, although this really Really isn't a big deal it did stir up some controversy as to why or people claiming that this means that the actual game has been delayed and some even taking it as far as saying this is the same situation as the day before which if you don't know was basically a fake game that was rushed out last minute and completely bombed and that narrative didn't help when power world had already been accused of being a fake game so now pocket power has put out another announcement to clear some of this up pocket power posted hello everyone sorry that it's been a few days without any news but things have been quite busy on our end we've got some info to share now though first of all to answer the recent is power world being delayed topic the answer is no we don't plan on any delays now the trailer. Many of you have been asking us what happened to the trailer we planned to release earlier in the week and unfortunately we can't share too many details but what we can tell you is that it's not a development or game related issue but actually it's a matter concerning coordination with another party. Thankfully things are going well but we may be unable to share this trailer with you until early January. I know that may be a little bit disappointing to hear but again we'd just like to clarify that there are no plans to delay Power World. Sorry for the trouble this week, but we appreciate your understanding. Thanks. So the delay on releasing the latest trailer has nothing to do with the launch of Power World. Now I know this won't stop the fake game accusations, but nothing other than the launch of Power World is going to do that. Even though we have seen so much gameplay of Power World, I guess it just looks too good to be true. But Pocket Power have confirmed that delaying the trailer has nothing to do with the development of Power World. And it is actually due to coordination with another party but it's impossible to know what that means they do however give us a ballpark of when the trailer is likely to be released and it's looking to be more like early january so this also does put people's thoughts that power world's going to be released on the 1st of january to rest the best piece of advice i can offer right now is as power world is scheduled for january 2024 until told otherwise expect it january 31st that way any earlier is a bonus and it removes the chance of being disappointed. But as stated in the announcement, there is no plan to delay the launch of Power World. But of course, in games development, anything can happen. But until Pocket Pair announces an actual delay, let's not get worried or jump to conclusions. Let's just let Pocket Pair cook and prepare Power World for its launch in January. In the meantime, Craftopia has just dropped a huge update which includes Go. dedicated servers. But well, that's pretty good news. Now, that trailer should have come out on the 12th of December. Since then, 
Pocket Pair, this is their actual official YouTube channel, okay, Pocket Pair, have actually put out a brand new video anyway. It's not the trailer. It's just an additional pal that they've added into the world. So if you go through here, they've got hundreds and hundreds of pals that they've been adding in. If this was a fake game, they wouldn't be adding these in at such a regular basis. And they're like freaking clockwork. There's some really good ones in there. That's, that's one of my favorites so far. He's really cool. But I haven't seen this one. I haven't watched this one yet. So I'm going to hit it up with you guys now. We're going to watch that. I think that guy that just done that synopsis on the delay gave it very intelligently, laid it all out there. There's not much to say to that really other than, yeah, I'm going to set my expectations end of January like he said. If it comes out before that, it's a freaking bonus. If there is a delay, then I'm not going to be too disappointed because hopefully it'll just push it into February, which does mean that it might clash with No Man's Sky if No Man's Sky gets an update in February, which I'm, I'm fairly sure it will. But anyway, let's hit play on this one. <laughs> oh my days. Oh. Nice. Oh, I like those Pokeballs. Oh, she's got a different outfit on. A new outfit. Cool. Looks like there's going to be quite a fair bit of character customization in this one as well. We saw a bit of the customer. The character customization in a previous video. Looks like you can have a bit of fun with the character customization. Righto. Well, yeah, I'm very excited for that one. Probably for all the wrong reasons. I mean, <laughs> this Pokemon with guns. I mean, it doesn't get any more wrong than that, does it? Anyway, I've been playing a game called Paleo Pines, which if you are looking for a nice, colourful, fantasy style type world, this one hasn't got guns, but it has got cutesy dinosaurs in it. And I really do like cutesy dinosaurs. I'm a big Dragon Ball Z fan, and the dr dinosaurs in this are very, very sort of Dragon Ball Z dinosaur-esque. Okay, people, well, there you go. That's Paleo Pines, which I'm actually really quite enjoying. I'm quite surprised just how much I'm actually enjoying it. I mean, around Christmassy time, I don't think there's many adults that get time to actually pick up and play games. So, you know, hopefully at the moment, I'm maybe capturing some of the younger audience. I mean, this has got elements of Ocarina of Time in, which I love, and also Jurassic World Evolution, which I was playing just a few months ago. It's, it's a very nice game. It's a beautiful game and it's a fun game. 
And it's not, I wouldn't say it's just for kids. I mean, I'm having a whale of a time and I'm an adult. And if you look at other content creators that have put this on their channels, they're also adults too. And they've got an amazing community, similar to No Man's Sky. They're very welcoming. They're very lovely people over there. So it's just a lovely little game. Plus, it was only 25 English pounds. And it's on Nintendo Switch. It's on Steam. It's on Xbox. It's on PlayStation. It's on the next gen consoles like PlayStation 5, etc. It's on everything, basically, people. So if you are looking for a nice, fun little game, game filler and just that's cheap so you're not going to get too disappointed if you don't like it it's a great little thing to hit on up and i'm actually enjoying it so i'm going to be playing this until powell comes out anyway alongside no man's sky i'm still running voyagers i'm going to be doing the voyagers expedition and i'm still bringing out the latest news on no man's sky but at the moment hopefully i'm going to be building my channel out a little with a little bit of fun playing this anyway until next time people you've all been freaking awesome and i'm hoping to pick up power world so yeah stay locked in hit that subscribe button if you haven't already if any of this interests you till next time goodbye goodbye and goodbye again